What's going on? Welcome to day number five of this, this series. Welcome to day number five of this competition prep. I just weighed in at 202.4 and we started at 20. It wasn't on that scale, but it, it's it's pretty close within a pound. We started at 206.6. Not bad. We're going down, so Whew. got a long ways to go. <laughs> So I just whipped out my little my breakfast bowl, which has you know my egg whites, one whole egg, and hash browns in here, and I added a little bit of mushrooms in there too when I sautéed or when I cooked the hash browns. But you know we got to put some franks in there. Just a little uh, uh 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 uh, uh. and give one little mm, one little love tap. God, it smells so good. So delicious. Mm. We just got to the gym. Today we're going to be doing a push workout, but it's going to be more of a strength-based workout. But we're going to—I'm going to do a voiceover over top of this workout footage, and I'm going to talk to you guys about what's my kind of what my plan is right now, how my programming is going to work for this cut for this competition prep as of right now. So, man, I hate it has been raining so much here. It's always raining. I feel like it's we live in a we live in a rainforest. You have a black eye. Really? Other side. No, I don't. In that corner, it's blue. Really? Yeah. Oh, I poked myself in the eye earlier with my tripod. There you go. Uh, the life of being blind. So, let's get this work out. Oh, boy. Don't let Brooke fool you. She gave me that black eye. Yeah. <laughs> so, talking about training, how we're going to be training right now and probably for the majority of this cut, basically, we're going to be training like we're still bulking and just adjust our diet and maybe add in a little cardio, which we'll talk about later. So. We're gonna be doing a push-pull leg day split. So this is a push day right here. So we'll hit everything twice a week. And we're gonna be doing kind of a variation of the conjugate method when it comes to programming. If you guys have ever heard of that, but it's kind of my own little interpretation, my own little variation of it. So since we're hitting everything twice a week, one day is gonna be a strength day, which you're seeing right here. We worked up to a heavy, uh, we did a five by five working up to a heavy set of five on the bench press at an RPE of nine. So we might've had one left in the tank. And same here with overhead press five by five and working up to a heavy set of five with at an RPE of about nine. So um, the whole workout for one day is gonna be based around strength. Even our accessory movements are lower rep range and we're focused on how much weight we're moving and we're focused on progressing how much weight we're moving. And the variation of these exercises will change just like I did incline bench. Uh, with chains, we'll be doing all kinds of different variations each each week for our strength day. So that's one day. The next day is going to be a hypertrophy day. So basically, more of a bodybuilding style, you know, workout, higher rep range, maybe focusing on slowing the tempo down, uh, more focused on building muscle slash maintaining what we got since we're cutting. And on that day, sometimes for our big compound movements such as bench press, squat, we might do some dynamic effort speed work because if you can move, you know focusing on how fast you're moving the bar not what's on the bar how fast you're accelerating the bar because if you can move the bar faster you're going to be stronger so um, a strength day a hypertrophy day that's what we're going to be doing and if you guys have any questions you can leave it down below in the comments push pull leg and only thing is on my leg day i don't hit hamstrings i like to hit hamstrings on my pull day with deadlifts or a variation of the deadlift so hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog i never take it where's off. your ring look at this Where's the bands? I'm putting them on. <laughs> she tried to act single in the gym. Look, I wore mine the whole time. <laughs> I, I never take it off at the gym. That was the only time I've ever yeah. done that. Yeah. Well, let's go get you some food. Come on. Cheese and egg. That's the one that you ate last time. <laughs> Meal prepping. All right, get your treats. Squat down. Exercise. I don't want to spend that much on you. Well, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I eat more than I do. I just got back home and I finished eating. I had eight ounces of ground turkey, lean ground turkey. I put this like garlic, parsley, garlic and parsley seasoning on it. Super delicious, along with like salt, pepper, and Frank's red hot. Frank's red hot. 
Um, but I had eight ounces of lean ground turkey, two servings of basmati rice, and a serving of broccoli, which was like, came out to about 78 grams of carbs, about uh, 52 grams of protein, and about 17 grams of fat. Here's the plan, Dan. So <laughs> I'm about to tell you guys kind of the, the plan of action moving forward with my macros, with my eating for this competition prep, 19 weeks out. So here's the plan, Dan. So <laughs> 19 weeks out, we were like, last week we're 206.6 pounds. This morning I was 202.2. So I've already dropped, I've already dropped a good bit, uh, or I wouldn't, I wouldn't say a good bit, but a couple pounds of water weight and maybe a little bit of fat already. So we're doing good, but we got, I got to get down to two, 100 at least. So the weight class cuts off at like 176.6 or 6 points, 176.5. That's the top of the weight class for middleweight. So that's at least where we gotta be. So that's already, that's 30 pounds there. But I think, you know, my goal with this competition, the last show I did down in Texas, the Summer Shredding Classic, I didn't have enough time. I only had, I did it in 12 weeks and I didn't have near enough time to get as lean as I wanted to get. So my conditioning was pretty good agum crappy. I was, I was way fluffier than I needed to be. And yeah, so, you know, that, we don't wanna do that again. So. That being said, I think I need to make it down to at least 170 pounds, probably even a couple pounds under that to be just, my goal to, is to come in peeled like a potato. I wanna be absolutely peeled, absolutely shredded like cheese. I'm telling you, I wanna be, I don't know anything else to say, but that's what I wanna be, I wanna be shredded for the show. That's my goal. I wanna be as lean, leaner than I've ever been before. That's what I wanna do. I wanna bring the best physique I've ever had and be leaner than I have ever been before. So. We only have 19 weeks to do that, to lose about 40 pounds and come in absolutely peeled. So we're coming in with a pretty aggressive uh, calorie deficit. So about seven to 800 calorie uh, deficit here in the beginning. So my macros are 250 carbs, uh, 200 grams of protein and 60 grams of fat, which is like 2,000, 2,340 calories. Like I said, like a seven to 800 uh, calorie deficit. And we might need to ramp that up a little more here in the next week or two. It's gonna depend how my body changes. So I'm gonna, I mean, I need you guys to kind of be my eyes to tell me how we're, you know, in the next, you know, th this Thursday we'll do another uh, physique update showing you guys the progress just in the first week. And I definitely wanna hear your guys' feedback. I wish I had about 24 weeks, um, but we only have 19, so I can't get time back. And here's, here's kind of the, the, the main reason we're gonna be so aggressive. If I got down to four weeks and I needed eight weeks, you can't get you can't get four weeks back of your time. So it's right. It's it's good to be aggressive now and make sure that we get down to you know where we want to be and get as lean as we want to be on, on stage, rather than be at four weeks and not be able to you know not be able to make it. So that's what we're doing. That's the plan, Dan. If you got any questions, you can ask me down below in the comments. But um, yeah, we're 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 moving right along. But we'll see this week and maybe another week how we're changing and we're either gonna. We're either gonna step on the pedal even more or we're gonna kinda tone it back a little bit, but we'll, we'll I'll, I'll keep you guys update on the macros and everything for eating. Oh yeah, and water right now, um, I'm probably drink, uh, drinking about at least one gallon a day, probably closer to one, one and a half gallons a day. I'm in here, I'm in here on the health master. The health master, the cardio machine from the the twenties. So, uh, right now though, for cardio, what I'm doing is about just about like every other day. I, so it turns out to about three sessions a week. But just about every other day, I'm doing 20 minutes on in here on the 1920s health master. Or I might do like stair stepper, but pretty much just every other day, 20 minutes of low intensity steady state cardio. This, and you know, sometimes that might be going on a walk outside if the weather's nice, but. Yeah, not nothing too crazy right now, and that may increase um, throughout this prep, which I'm sure towards the end, the sessions might get longer and the frequency through the week might get longer. But for right now, just every, every other day, 20 minutes, low intensity, steady state on here on the high dollar health mast. The last big meal that I'm gonna be really eating tonight is six ounces of chicken that we cooked. My brother cooked it in like a foodie. Uh, if you know what that is, it's kind of like an air fryer, slow cooker all in one, but we slow cooked them for like four hours. It's really tender. Uh, a couple hundred grams of spaghetti squash from a vegetable, two servings of basmati rice, and then smaragaro. 
that will be some smart gyros. That's pretty much it. The only thing left I have is um, almonds that I'll be eating later as like a, a midnight snack. So that's it. And and if you guys were wondering like what kind of foods I'm going to be eating, it's pretty much going to be as clean as I possibly can keep it. I'm going to try to not go out. To, I mean, I'm, we'll go out to eat probably once every couple of weeks right now, but for the most part, I'm going to try to eat as clean as possible. So let it begin. Should I show them how shredded I am? Yeah. I'll give you guys a, a sneak. This is five days of this cut. Um, I got sunburnt yesterday. <laughs> you guys probably seen it earlier in the video. But yeah, my neck. I was wearing a sweatshirt when I played. I had beatball practice. And I was wearing a sweatshirt, sweatshirt so just my neck. Is it red? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a literal redneck. But... Is it better? Yeah. You can see them more. I think we've lost a little bit, so. But that's gonna bring this video to an end. Day number five, shredding sightless. Coming up on 18 weeks out, so. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't seen the other videos so far, there'll be a playlist of all of the videos in order, so you can watch them in order of this series. But thank you guys for watching, and keep getting shredded. Ugh.